Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about mutagen and its types. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. A mutagen is an agent that causes mutations in DNA. The process by which a mutagen causes mutation is called mutagenesis so there are different types of mutagens these are physical mutagens chemical mutagens and biological mutagens first we will talk about physical mutagens physical mutagens include radiation and heat radiation mutagens are of different types ionizing radiations and non-ionizing radiations. Ionizing radiations include alpha and beta rays, x-rays and gamma rays, electrons, protons, neutrons and other force moving particles. Non-ionizing radiations include ultraviolet light and visible light. Ionizing radiations are comparatively more harmful than non-ionizing radiations. They cause mutations such as deletion, duplication, inversion and translocation by damaging the sugar phosphate backbone of DNA. Base deletion, strand breakage, cross-linking and formation of nucleotide dimers are some of the mechanisms by which non-ionizing radiations exert their mutagenic effect. Heat A temperature increase of 10 degrees Celsius doubles or triples the rate of mutation. Heat destroys both hydrogen bonds and phosphodiester bonds in DNA. Let's talk about chemical mutagens. Chemical mutagens include base analogs, intercalating agents, metal ions, and alkylating agents. Base analogs. These agents possess structural similarities to the bases. Examples of base analogs are 5 bromouracil and aminopurine. Base analogs are integrated into the DNA structure during replication because of the structural resemblances between these agents and DNA bases. Aminopurine is similar to adenine and can form a base pair with T. 5-bromouracil exhibits two tautomeric forms keto and enol. Keto form replaces thymine in the DNA and forms a pair with the adenine. Enol forms a complementary base pair with guanine. Like this. So here AT base pair gets changed into GC base pair. So originally it was AT base pair which is now changed into GC base pair. Thus depending on the tautomeric form upon replication such DNA containing 5 bromouracil changes base pair from AT to GC. Intercalating agents. Intercalating agents are the molecules that have a heterocyclic ring structure and resemble the ring structure of bases. These agents place themselves in the DNA helix which eventually interferes with the replication, transcription and translation. So here we have taken an example of ethidium bromide which gets placed in between two base pairs. 
Examples of intercalating agents are ethidium bromide, proflavin, acridin orange, actinomycin D, etc. Metal ions. Metal ions like nickel, chromium, cobalt, cadmium, arsenic, and iron generate reactive oxygen species or ROS that cause DNA hypermethylation. So DNA hypermethylation is a biological process by which numerous methyl groups are added to the DNA molecule and it promotes DNA damage and obstructs the DNA repair process. Alkylating agents. These chemicals cause DNA damage by inducing alkyl groups. Alkyl group introduction leads to base pairs mistakes. Examples of alkylating agents are nitrous acid, formaldehyde, vinyl chloride, dimethyl and diethyl sulfonate, etc. Biological agents. There are three different biological agents which cause DNA mutation. Those are transposons, virus and bacteria. Transposons move from one genomic location to another. They are powerful forces of genetic change. Since transposons migrate around the DNA, they are referred to as jumping genes. The functionality of the genes is disrupted when transposons are inserted into them. There are different types of transposons. Replicative transposon, conservative transposon and retrotransposon. We will talk about them one by one. First is replicative transposon. The transposon moves a copy of itself to a new site via a DNA intermediate. So this is replicating transposon. Here we have the donor DNA and this is the recipient DNA. This red part of the donor DNA is the transposon. So here donor DNA gets replicated and inserted into the recipient DNA. This is replicative transposon. Next is conservative transposon. The original transposon translocates itself from the donor site to the target site. Okay. Here donor DNA gets excised and inserted into the recipient DNA. This is called conservative transposon. Next is retrotransposon. The retrotransposon translocates to the target site via RNA intermediate. So this is retrotransposon. Here donor DNA gets transcribed which forms mRNA. mRNA generates cDNA which gets inserted into the recipient DNA. So this is retrotransposon. So replicative transposition is a copy paste method and conservative transposition is a cut paste method. So these are three types of transposons. Virus. The insertion of viral DNA into the genome may lead to the disruption of genetic function. Ras sarcoma virus has been reported to induce cancer. Bacteria. Reactive oxygen species are produced by some bacteria that cause DNA damage. Helicobacter pylori is such a bacteria. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, please find the first pinned comment or the description box. Thank you.